Chalk Talk is a digital presentation and communication language being developed at NYU's Future Reality Lab. Using a Blackboard-like interface, it allows a presenter to create and interact with animated digital objects called sketches in order to demonstrate ideas and concepts in the context of a live presentation or conversation. These sketches can, among other things, display graphics in 2D or 3D, move and animate, respond to input events such as mouse clicks or drags, and generate or play audio. Sketches can also be linked together, allowing various kinds of data to be sent from one sketch to another. This data can range from simple values such as numbers, arrays, or text strings to more complex objects such as 3D meshes or motion paths. However, in its existing incarnation, the linking system had several problems. Chief among them was that ChalkTalk had no knowledge of what type of data each sketch was expecting as input or emitting as output. This meant that ChalkTalk gave the user no feedback as to which kinds of sketches could be linked together, and linking two incompatible sketches together would often result in unexpected behavior. For example, an audio player sketch that outputs a stream of audio samples can be connected to this speaker sketch in order to play the audio. However, the piano above outputs a frequency value in hertz, which the speaker sketch has not been designed to handle. ChalkTalk still allows the connection, but no audio is played. To alleviate these problems, we introduce the atypical type system. Built on top of JavaScript, the programming language ChalkTalk is implemented in, this type system allows sketches to declare what type of inputs they expect to receive and what type of outputs they emit, and then enforces those constraints when linking sketches in the ChalkTalk interface. This allows the ChalkTalk interface to prevent links between incompatible sketches, as well as blocking links to sketches that declare no inputs or from sketches that declare no outputs. By default, ChalkTalk has only a minimal interface to allow the focus to remain on the presentation being given. However, it also has an optional help mode meant for novice users that makes its interface more explicitly visible. While linking sketches with the help mode interface on, type information for the inputs and outputs of each sketch is explicitly shown to the user. This updated linking system also contains a number of useful features, such as generic types, partial interoperability with the previous untyped linking system, and, as shown here, variable length inputs. In addition, in order to preserve ChalkTalk's improvisational and performance-oriented nature, a typical differs from traditional programming language type systems by focusing on allowing flexible conversions between data types instead of focusing strictly on preventing errors. These conversions can be as simple as allowing a boolean to be converted to a floating point number for plotting on a graph, or as complex as converting a number to a full 3D mesh of its glyph. These conversions are extensive, easy to define, and in certain cases can be automatically generated by the system. By focusing on enabling exploration and improvisation in real-time presentations and performances, Atypical offers a novel take on what a type system can be and is an important addition to the interactive visual language of ChalkTalk.